this daggone camera would focus. I'm going to tell y'all something that really is going to save you a lot of trouble. Three words. Minding your business. Minding your business is so, bro. Just minding your business is one of the best things you can do as a human being. Not even just a man, as a human being. To mind your business. To know when to not speak on certain situations. To know when to just shut your mouth and just let people go on. I'm telling you, the more you let people talk, the more they reveal about themselves. When you don't say anything, you just let when you just let people blabber on and blabber on and blabber on, they just tell on themselves. They just let people do it. They just they just giving you all the information that you didn't even ask for. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know when that's how I know people are insecure. Oh my god, come on. That's how I know people are insecure and people are constantly looking for validation. Because they keep telling people information that nobody asked for. Like, why are you telling me about your family? Why are you telling me about your dog? Why are you telling me about your granddaddy back home? I didn't ask you about that. But why are you telling me? Oh, because you want me to say, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You want to feel good because somebody else, is agree somebody else agrees with your nonsense. Minding your business goes a long way. Tell that to, you know, if you, if you went to church growing up, you know it was always through a group of ladies in the church that knew everything. They 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 was on they they talked they talked some with each other, they told everybody's business. I'm talking about they knew who they knew who that brother Sam had the bypass yesterday. They knew that sister sister Charlene, her her grandma her grandma is on life support. They knew that uh, brother brother Rick his son is just came back from a 15 year bid. They know that uh, little John John just graduated from college. They know that little Mike Mike just went to the second grade they know the pastor's car they know the bank account and everything. they know everything they and they, they sit all day on the phone just talking and talking to everybody else just talking just talking you know what i'm saying minding your business is so amazing bro i'm telling you minding your business keeps you out of so much when you mind other people's business when you try to put other people's issues on your plate you notice how you get stressed out? You notice how things don't start start happening really weird? Because you're taking on unnecessary stress. You, you're worried about what somebody else is doing. Which is really illogical. Why are you worried about what this dude is doing if his if his situation has absolutely nothing to do with you and doesn't even involve you in the slightest? But yet you're worried about somebody else, what somebody else got going on because you're bored. You got nothing else to do in life. That's the thing. Y'all got too much free time. You got You got too much free time in life. Let's see, you y'all got too much free time. So you spend your time minding other people's business. You, you spend your time worrying about what other people got going on because you don't you don't have nothing to do in your with your life. As soon as you as soon as you get off your nine to five, you you steady try look on Instagram and try to in, investigate and see who who's who's messing with who and who's had a baby by who and who just wrecked their car and who You feel what I'm saying? You you steady investing into other people's energy. And mind your business doesn't, doesn't just come with not worrying about other people doing. Like, minding your business is also keeping your business inside of you. Keeping your business to yourself. That is minding your own business. Yes, that is, a, that is another definition. Bro. Like, y'all just be giving this, y'all be giving yourselves up to people for free. Like, with no effort. They, they, they just met you. You telling them about where you graduated from college. You tell them about, oh, your major in, in, in high school and all this other stuff. You tell them all this other crazy information that they didn't even ask for. You're looking like, wow. Why he just, why is he telling me this? I didn't, I didn't even ask for this. What's wrong with this dude? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're just giving them access to everything. Stop, like I said, minding your business is also denying access from people that don't earn it, that don't need, that don't win the access, that don't earn access. I'm telling you. Stop telling everything. Stop broadcasting every major moment in your life. Stop it. You get your first car, you tell in the social media. You get your first house, you tell on social media. You get your first, you get your good job, you tell on social media. 
you do this, you tell us social media, you do that, you tell us social media, you do every, you, you do anything, you, you, your cat takes a poop in the litter box, you tell us social media, like, bro, people, and then people tomorrow, well, sometimes you have to, you have to, uh, you have to show your accomplishments, no, you don't, no, you don't, I'd rather be sitting on, ten, I'd be sitting on 10 million dollars, I'd rather be doing that and nobody even know it, what? I'd rather be sitting on 10 million and nobody know it. And I'd just be chilling out like I'm working a regular job. I'm just coming home. I got 15 million in the bank, but I'm just working a regular job just as a facade. Some people think I'm really bummy. When I come home, oh my God. Bank, bank, bank. That's what I'm, that's the life I'm trying to live. I don't want people to know every detail about my life. Why? The only people that should know everything about my life is the people who live in my household. You feel what I'm saying? And even then, they don't know every specific detail. They know way more than other people do. I'm telling you, man, you got to guard your information. You got to guard your identity with, with, with reckless abandonment. You got to guard your identity because people are jealous. People are naturally jealous. A lot of people are just mad because they don't have the work ethic to do anything. A lot of people are mad because they just quit. They gave up way too early. They, they saw one example they saw one example of mercy and just quit they mad and you out here showing you out here trying to prove to the world that you're just some macho man you're just some huge successful guy just, man people go people just see oh my god look at this guy who does he think he is yeah like just in driving the hate bro minding your business after you get done having sex with shorty stop pillow talking Stop pillow talking. Stop pillow talking. Stop laying in the bed with short. You you know how that position right after you're done. She start calling up on you. She got her she got her thighs all on you. She, her thighs all on you. She out here playing with your chest. She out here all up in your face. She put on, she put on that little soft voice, the, the real the real non threatening voice, just to get you in that in that in that little submissive like oh look at the soft voice. Ah. You just ready to tell everything. Or you just do it off volition. You just do it just off the strength that you just wanted them. You tell, oh man, I told you, man, you, you know what happened about about dude about uh young young oh young Ray Ray over there? He was messing with uh Shaniqua and then Shaniqua was messing like bro, how you got all the how you a man and you got dirt on every man in the city in what in what? How you got all the dirt on everybody else? Are you serious? Right then, she right then, she, as soon as you start explaining about other people, she knew like, oh, this dude's a square. He out here worrying about what other people got going on, man. What he? How he know all this information? She, like I said, like I said in the TikTok, I put yo, drop my TikTok. I'm gonna drop it in the description. She puts you in the same category as the home girl. That's the home girl that know everything about everybody that tell her, or she puts you in, in even worse than the home girl. She put you in the gay friend category. Oh my God, she, she, you, you were in the same level as the gay friend that know every secret, especially about every dude. You, you, were, you were in that category of the gay friend. Stop telling everything about your life. Stop making people, make people earn details about you. Stop being just so giving. Stop being so willing to just share everything. Like that's a problem. Y'all just want to share everything so much. You 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 have no privacy about yourself. You have no mystery about your life. And the thing is, people who are just nosy, people who got nothing, to, people who just try to pick and prod, try to get little small, they will pick and prod. You gotta feed them scraps, or don't feed them nothing. You gotta feed them little details, or you can just lie. That's what I do sometimes. I just lie. I don't care. I ain't nothing. I'm just, I'm, why, why, you keep, I'm like, why you keep asking me these questions that don't make sense? I'm going to just lie to you so you get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to just lie to you. Like, stop asking me all these stupid questions. Like, stop trying to be so nosy. Stop worrying about what I got going on. Like, you to my job trying to ask me, hey, you, you ain't the job that much. Hmm. Like, yeah, you must be making one type of money you got. Well, when you must be making other money. I said, man, I'm, I'm chilling. Yeah, it's like. You gotta be this. You gotta be discreet about your life, man. You gotta be discreet. You can't. You can't just let people give. You can't just give people all so much access 
to what you got going on. You got to be like, man, you got to be really whole. You got to lock and key with all your details about your life. Lock and key. Lock and key, bro. Thank you, though. That's all I wanted to say. Leave a like. Hit that notification bell. Turn that, turn that, uh, that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much. Please be safe. I'm out. Peace.